Welcome everyone to Gamer Meld. As you can see, yes, this is a talking head video, but what we knew from the earlier leaks has come true. AMD has officially launched their Ryzen XT refreshed Ryzen 3000 CPUs. And as you can see, WCCF Tech was correct with the naming scheme. They're essentially adding a T to the already X, so it makes it the XT series. Now, this is actually really interesting because if you saw my last video, you'd know that AMD is changing their Radeon branding to be closer to their Ryzen branding by changing the font. Then they're also changing their Ryzen branding to be closer to Radeon by adding the T for the XT. Just something I've kind of noticed. It seems like they're definitely molding these two very tightly together. Anyway, as you can see, we have the 3600 XT, 3800 XT, and 3900 XT. And because it was launched today, you know that the recent leaks from Amazon were accurate. Fortunately, they're not accurate in some ways, but unfortunately, they are accurate in others. Anyway, similar to another recent leak where we saw that AMD is going to be launching their B550 boards today, which we actually already knew that, but they also announced the A520, although unfortunately we really didn't get much information on it. It's more of buzzwords and things like that. Hopefully we'll get more as time goes on, or obviously we'll get more. So yeah, let's move right on to the specs and everything else. As you can see, that leak was accurate in specs. These are essentially the exact same processors as their non-T variants, except they have a bit higher boost. Now, I have to admit that I am fairly disappointed in the boost. You can see, just like we saw not long ago, the 3600 XT got a 100 megahertz boost, and the 3900 XT also got a 100 megahertz boost. Now, the 3800 XT was one that we actually weren't able to see. Uh, it was pretty much the only one from Amazon that wasn't leaked. So you can see that those two were accurate, but the 3800 XT at least got a 200 megahertz boost, so that is fairly nice. Pretty much everything else though is identical from the cores to the cache, basically everything all around. That's unfortunate, but one thing that is actually good that differs from the leaks is pricing. We saw almost a 30, I believe it was over a 30% price increase when you compared it to the current processors on the Amazon Italy site. But as you can see, the pricing is the same. Now, in my opinion, that's actually not that great. We're talking about a one to 200 megahertz boost clock. Oh, and really quickly, yes, the base has remained the same. So it is only a boost clock that you see any kind of difference. And according to AMD, you're looking at about a 4% increase in single core performance. I think it is. Yep, it's right here up to 4% increase in single threaded performance. Now, up to 40% more power efficiency, but it's this last part that matters than the competition. They were already far more efficient than Intel to begin with. So that makes it sound like, ooh, 40% over, but they're just referring to it's It's basically the same as it was before. So the main thing you are looking at is a very slight increase in single threaded performance, which like I said, I really wish it was quite a bit better, but this is what we get. And really quickly, the reason I actually have this Amazon. So Yes, it is good they aren't going up in price, but honestly, in a way they are, because if we look at current pricing of processors, for example, you can see right here, the 3900X is almost $82 off. So it is a big difference when you compare it to that to the $500 that it is right here. Now, hopefully when they actually release pretty quickly, it'll go down a bit, but it, it really may not. But at the same time, you're at least guaranteed of getting some heavily been processors. The number one thing that I want to look at, uh, hopefully I'm going to be getting one. We shall see. But if I do, or maybe three, I don't know. But either way, if I do, I'll definitely be doing some overclocking. So make sure to subscribe. Now, one thing we weren't too sure about was the cooling and apparently only the 3600 XT. And you know what? Let me actually do this for you guys. I do apologize. You can see the cache is the same. Megahertz is only 100 megahertz boost versus the 3600X. Anyway, the 3600 XT is actually the only one that comes with a cooler. 
And when we go over here, you can see that they really suggest for the 3900 XT, 3800 XT, and it looks like even 3600 XT, they suggest liquid cooling, which is obviously why they didn't. Now, once again, hopefully we can get much higher boosts, but I don't know, maybe we can at least get a better all core overclock. That would definitely be worth it. But still, the 3600 XT does come with a Wraith cooler, but as I said, the 3900 XT and 3800 XT do not. So yeah, that's really it. I know it's not too much information, or at least it kind of feels underwhelming, and at least in my opinion, that's because it kind of is. Especially if that leak that we saw in my last video, which I'll link right up here, is accurate. AMD is not going to be releasing their 4th processors until next year. Now, luckily, it's just going to be January, so this is only going to be something that we're going to have for about six months or so, but still, even two to 300 megahertz higher than uh, previous generation besides the 3600 XT, it, it would have been just so much better in my opinion, but obviously, this is what we get. Let me know what you think about it down in the comments. I know this video was pretty quick, but I wanted to get this out there. wanted to let everyone know. Anyway, if you liked the video, please subscribe. And as always, have a great day.